How a recession in 2022 can make you a lot of money. Two major concerns have surfaced as the economy of the United States seeks to regain its footing as it emerges from the pandemic caused by the COVID-19 virus, persistently high inflation, and the possibility of a recession. Some lawmakers have expressed their disagreement with the notion that the United States is now experiencing a recession. However, if you check up the technical term in a textbook, it seems that we can no longer avoid using the term recession, especially in times like this. Are you concerned about the state of your finances one year from now, or even just a few months down the road? It is understandable to be concerned about the possibility of an economic recession given all of the issues surrounding economic growth. However, the most important thing that you can do is start preparing right now so that you will be in the best position possible with your finances in the event that the recession does come. At times when public faith in the economy is shattered, there is a greater need for sound financial and economic advice. You found the perfect place if you're on the lookout for the best opportunities to get rich or improve your financial standing in a recession. Hi, if you're joining us now or returning, hello again. If you need financial assistance, go no further than Finance Bureau. I hope you had a good time watching my last video and are glad to be back. We are happy to have you here. Given the impending 2022 recession, how do you intend to grow your wealth? Right now, it doesn't appear like things will go well. Investor confidence continues to decline as the stock market falls. The past two years haven't been much fun. Turbulent times is putting it mildly, and we're not down from the rocky trail just yet. There has been stress and panic, but there is good news too. This is where your finances can take off. The title of this video may sound crazy, but getting rich in a 2022 recession is not entirely impossible. Because as I have previously stressed in my videos, doing your homework is an important part to make sure you are in the right path towards building wealth. While opinions vary on whether or not the United States economy has entered a recession, investors and consumers continue to face a number of challenging financial and economic conditions. Consider the case of inflation, for example. The annual rate of price inflation in May was 8.6%, the highest annual rate in 40 years. Stocks being in bear market territory, interest rates rising, and global economic issues due to Russia's invasion of Ukraine all contribute to the general pessimism about the economy that many Americans feel, despite the continued health of the labor market. So what exactly is this R word? A decrease in real GDP for two consecutive quarters is the technical definition of a recession. And real GDP in the United States fell at an annual pace of 1.6% in the first quarter, followed by a fall of 0.9% in the second quarter. A lengthy slowdown in economic activity is known as a recession. Recessions are often characterized by a decrease in retail sales, a decrease in industrial output, a decline in wages, and an increase in unemployment. What's the uplifting report? When the economy is in a downturn, there are many possibilities for average individuals to increase their wealth and get rich. For example, Michael Burry was able to generate earnings of $800 million for his hedge fund during the financial crisis of 2008, which included a personal profit of $100 million. There are many people that prosper during times of economic turmoil, not only him. Warren Buffett, who has a net worth of $110 billion, recently gave an interview to CNBC in which he said that he is looking forward to seeing a great deal more recessions in the years to come. What is the reason? Whenever there is a recession, the price of stocks will plummet. They cost millions and billions of dollars, yet millionaires and billionaires buy them for pennies on the dollar. The value of their assets will then surge once stock prices begin to rebound, which will lead to a large increase in their fortune. In a sense, you can create something positive out of a negative situation and use it to your advantage. It is completely achievable to continuously build wealth during a recession. According to the opinions of some experts, economic downturns might actually be one of the most favorable periods to increase one's own fortune. Exactly how does one go about doing that? The following portion of the video is a more in-depth discussion of the key things you need to do to get rich during a looming 2022 recession. 
To begin, let's take a look at one of the strategies that millionaires put to use, which is known as shorting the market and waiting for the price to go down. According to the information provided by Investopedia, short selling is an investing or trading technique that speculates on the drop in the price of a stock or other asset. Short sellers are investors who bet on a decline in the price of a security and will benefit from that wager. Long investors, on the other hand, are hoping that prices will rise. Therefore, this may be compared with them. In the years leading up to the financial crisis of 2008, Michael Burry behaved precisely as described here. He saw a trend in the macro economy and came to the conclusion that subprime mortgages will decline in value. Therefore, he bet against the real estate market by acquiring credit default swaps on subprime loans that he judged to be susceptible to default. The prediction that Michael Burry made was correct in the end. As a result of the crash of the housing market, he generated more than $700 million in profits for his hedge fund and earned a personal profit of $100 million. By the summer of 2008, the whole financial sector had been thrown into disarray as a result of the collapse of the housing market. A great number of well-known companies like Bear Stearns and Lehman Brothers had no choice but to dissolve their operations. It is also important to note that the stock market was shaken to its core when Lehman Brothers filed for bankruptcy, which resulted in a dramatic decline in prices. When they believe that a bubble is likely to burst, a significant number of wealthy investors and billionaires short the market. Even if a recession causes millions of people to lose their jobs and their houses, those individuals will still be content as long as the value of their investment portfolios continue to rise. During a recession, a good strategy is to buy cheap stocks that have the potential to grow exponentially. When the economy looks bad, stock prices drop, which may look bad on the surface, but this could also be a good opportunity to buy stocks at a bargain price. This is the next step that millionaires do, to invest their money at the bottom of a market crash and then wait for the economy to recover. When asked about the key to financial success on Wall Street, Warren Buffett famously said, I will tell you the secret. You try to be greedy at a time when most others are scared, and you try to be timid in the face of others' greed. Let's put our minds to work by doing a mental exercise together. Imagine a situation in which the stock price of a corporation drops all the way to $100. Then picture a billionaire making an investment of $50 million in the stock of that company. If the value of that stock were to double from its current level of $100 to its new level of $200 after an economic rebound following a recession, the millionaire would profit an additional $100 hundred million dollars from that one transaction alone. During times of economic contraction and recession, this is a common occurrence. Before investing their money, investors wait until they are certain that the market has hit its lowest point. Then after waiting a few months or years, they make certain investments, totaling a few million dollars, and wait for the economy to improve. The following passage is taken from an article that was published by Forbes. A market crash creates opportunities, especially for savvy investors. You could be able to spend on companies and funds that you've had your eye on, at significant price reductions, or you might just be able to continue purchasing shares on your usual investment schedule. If wealthy individuals purchase stocks or other assets during a period of economic contraction and then sell those holdings at a greater price at a later time, they most certainly will increase their wealth. In addition, they are able to use the same approach over and over again whenever there is a drop in the market. Every investor strives to purchase at a cheap price and then sell at a high price. Bargain hunters may find their timing to be optimal during a slump in the stock market that occurs during a recession. In addition to that, when there is a recession, the values of the stocks go down. You have the option of investing in companies that are offered at steep discounts, which will provide you diversity among funds that can be purchased at even lower prices. Every six months, the value of the stock changes. And if the stock market is increasing, you have the option of either selling your shares or keeping them. 
Investors who are looking to buy shares at a discount may wish to exercise caution and concentrate their attention on businesses that are able to prosper amid economic downturns. To get started in the market, you won't need a large sum of money. You may even buy fractions of shares with as much money as you are prepared to pay if you use certain investing applications that allow you to do so. One further piece of advice is to choose your investments wisely. To acquire a better grasp of your investment appetite and level of tolerance risk, you should first consider your investment goal before you make any investments. If you are planning to invest for the long run, even a little loss in the near term will have less of an impact on you than it would if you were planning to invest for the short term. To gain a clearer picture of the kinds of investments that are a good fit for you, you must first know the reasons that drive you to make financial investments. Toward what end are you putting your money? Are you investing for retirement or maybe to make a down payment on a house? Suppose you have made the decision to invest in stocks. The next step is to carry out extensive research on the business in which you want to put your money. Have a look at the balance sheets, business models, and reports written by financial analysts. When the economy is in a downturn, it is smarter to make investments in companies that produce goods or services that are relatively unaffected by the cycle of the economy. This includes companies that provide consumer necessities, such as grocery stores. Invest your money in fields or companies that will be successful no matter what the market conditions are like. If you want to know more about investing or stocks that thrive during a recession, I have another video on my channel just for you. Feel free to check it out. If you enjoy these types of videos, don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button to see more of my content. During a recession, real estate provides another potentially profitable option. A recession does not always imply a reduction in property values. However, one thing might disrupt the real estate market's rising trend, interest rates. Right now, the Fed is rapidly increasing its benchmark interest rates to combat rising inflation. Higher interest rates are terrible for the real estate market. When the cost of borrowing is high, consumers are hesitant to take out a loan to buy a house or an investment property. Sam Zell, often known as the Grave Dancer, made a fortune by purchasing homes when no one else would. When the economy entered a slump in 1973, the real estate market crashed as many loans went into default. Zell was able to purchase a portfolio of high-quality properties at a big discount in that setting. If you've been looking for investment properties in recent years, a price drop caused by the recession may give a suitable entry opportunity. New services now make it simple to enter the real estate market, regardless of how big or little your budget is. One last thing, maintaining a good attitude while remaining cool is the most effective strategy for winning over the difficulties during a recession. Despite the fact that everyone is aware that a recession is the worst possible condition that halts the movement of the market and the flow of cash, we must exercise patience and adapt our plans to the specific demands of the current situation. The majority of individuals lose everything during a downturn in the economy because they sell their stocks and their homes. But now is exactly the moment to try something new and different in order to avoid this fate. Therefore, show innovative thinking and keep an eye out for chances that may arise during a recession. That's it for this video. Thank you for watching. I'll see you on the next one.